study 2021 as powerful man of God reviews death of president. Northern leaders attack bishop over coup comments and more. Hello everyone, you are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do. Don't forget to click the follow button. This is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel. Thank you very much once again. Now, the news reads in detail. The founder and the leader of the Erin Evangelical Spiritual Church, Elisha Ayodele, has predicted that a sitting president and former president may die this year, while another may land in jail. Ayodele, who has been busy releasing his prophecies about 2021 and the years ahead, also predicted the days of Boko Haram leader Abubakar Shaku and numbered. On the death of a president, he said, Let's pray not to lose a one time president and a sitting president. Let's pray against the uprising and pray that a president will not be chilled. Daily Post reported. Another headline we have here Northern Elders berate Kawuka's coup comment against Buhari's government. The Northern Elders Forum, NEF, has joined other groups to react to Bishop Matthew Hassan Kauka's ad post on Buhari's government, saying that the clerk should go to court rather than calling for an undemocratic process to addressing the alleged poor governance. The Bishop of Sokoto Catholic Diocese was quoted to have attacked President Muhammad Buhari's government in his Christmas message accusing it of nepotism and incompetence. However, the ENF in its reaction said, though it cannot agree less with Bishop Kaukas that Buhari's government lacks respect for inconclusiveness, it feels it is irresponsible to search for solutions to the problems outside the democratic process. The ENF the ENF's Director of Publicity and Advocacy, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, in an interview with The Nation, said, The nation is paying a heavy price for mediocrity and ineffectiveness in key areas of decision-making under President Buhari. He, however, said that the forums will not encourage even anyone or anybody from a form of government other than one that emerges democrat democratically. The, e, the NEF spokesman said that Nigerians who feel there are sufficient grants to challenge the administration should seek readiness in court. The nation reports. Hmm. Another trouble, traders lose 200 million in Lagos market fire. This fire in Lagos state is becoming something else. So I think this has to be investigated thoroughly. Traders at a blank market in Lagos are still counting their losses following an inferon which engulfed the market on Sunday, leaving millions of goods and items completely burnt. Emergency respondents comprising last man response team and the Lagos State Fire Service had responded to the fire at K2 Plank Market. Though officials said the cause of the fire incident, which started from one part of the market, could not be ascertained. The market was virtually raised down with over 200 million lost daily trust. Again, Igbo presidency under threat, says Anglican Bishop. The Anglican Bishop of the Ecclesiastical Providence of Niger, Dr. Alexander Ebenza, yesterday lamented that Igbo presidency might suffer setback 
with the growing marginalization against the ethnic nationality in the Federation. Ibemza, also Anglican Bishop of Oka Daose, said that the presidency should rather be about equity and competence of the Igbo man when sharing positions and other things in the country rather than being a, a gift. He also expressed his concern as a session with journalists in Oka, the Anambra state capital yesterday, noting that it was very clear that everybody who knows Nigeria were that the Igbo people were being marginalized. Yeah, so hello guys, what's your view on this? Let me start with the uh, Northern Elders. Northern Elders had the atta attacked uh, Bishop Kauka over his comment. See, <laughs> whenever truth is spoken, it has been spoken. No amount of willing will withdraw it from the grip of the wind. Learn to be sincere once you are in leadership position and not to deceive the people with false claims of integrity. Because when this is being done, you have lose it all. That is why when people try to say something, you will see them rushing the person. You are fed, you are fed, and that is the truth. There is no how you can paint it. If you like, paint it black. Everybody know it's white. You are fed. You are fed. So, in their best interest, what they're supposed to do is see how they will amend the government. Because this will not tell where come 2021. The way the things, the way things are going right now. The country has been divided already. So, hello guys. I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you. What's your view on this? Kindly leave your opinion below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out here. <music>